I'm back from vacation, kind of settling back in, a pile of laundry. I'm so happy to have all my stuff back. Anyway, while I was traveling, one of the things I absolutely loved was taking the primer and just putting it in my hair for flyaways. It worked really well. And I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I think I'm letting the fringe grow out. It was nice while I had it, but I think I'd rather it be out. Anyway, one of the new things I got while I was gone is a brow palette, and I'm really excited to try and use that. Um, and the other thing while I was gone, I so missed my liquid touch. Oh, so happy to have this back. Um, I do have it in um, velour and satin, satin being the darker of the two. So I just use a teeny drop of that and I feel like I've got an instant suntan, which I love. Um, so I put a little primer on. Um, actually, I have to go back and say, you really have to start off with all the base products. So this morning I washed with the um, cleanser. I used the serum. And then this amazing, oh my gosh, day moisturizer. I'm going to break my table and everything just went flying. Um, all right, so maybe I'm not supposed to show you all that. I'm just going to leave that alone and start with a start with a little foundation. Anyway, I am feeling like it's summer. Spring is hit hard. I want to spend the day and declutter a little bit. Um, I have a couple of corners that kind of appeared out of nowhere. So that all is going to go away. I'm really excited, super excited because I need to go downstairs into our garage and get all my clothes out for the summer. Um, it feels like especially last summer, um, I was limited to just one or two pairs of capris, I don't really wear shorts, but capris and um, shirts that I'm not really a fan of, but I was kind of uh, a size too much. <clears throat> but this is going to be my first summer, I'm back into my clothes, so um, I'm really excited. I feel like I have a whole new wardrobe to pull out and I can go through all the ones that don't work anymore and get rid of them. Um, now I need to match the fact that I even do makeup. So that'll be fun. Anyway, um, my daughter was just in here and trying to help me figure out how to do the brow palette. So this is a first time for me. I have no idea how this is going to work. But I'm going to go with the lightest color <clears throat> because I kind of like to keep things a little lighter on my complexion than darker. Um, and little tip, by the way, and it just went shooting off to the other direction. Um, in the evening, put a little bit of the lash serum on your lashes, that's what it's for, and a little bit on your brows. And you're going to be surprised at how thick and full they start coming in because mine were almost gone, but now you can see they're there. And um, I'm still, at some point I probably don't need to do them. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that really likes a really big defined brow. Um, but I do like having a little bit there now that I'm getting more into makeup and enjoying every second of it. So it kind of balances out everything on my face when I do this. So I pretty much go with my natural brow line. I'm sure I could clean it up a little bit, but I like, I, I guess I'm just, uh, I like it a little more natural for me, for every day. Um, so that's what I'm working with today. I don't quite know how to use the wax and stuff like that, but I will work on that. So just wanted to show that brow palette off. I'm really excited I finally got it. Apparently this lasts forever, whereas the brow pencils, you know, you're down to the little nub in no time. The brow palette lasts forever and everybody loves it. So I've just started with that. I liked how it just gave me some brow definition just now, just something simple. It's kind of hot. Um, so there you have it. And then my quick makeup, because every time I do a makeup tutorial with Colleen, I end up going super fast. So I'm going to do this again the way I <laughs> fast. 
and you can see um, so this is a cream um, I would get it in stick foundation now uh, if you get the stick foundation cream in suede you can use that to contour I love it um, but I'm generally pretty fast when I do things um, especially during the day if I was going out at night I'd spend a lot more time on a um, a look. In fact, we'll start doing those soon because I need to get good at that. Uh, last December there was um, a work party for my husband and the second he said it, we, he knew we weren't going to go, but the second he said it, the two things that hit me were, I have nothing to wear, no shoes, and I have no idea how to make myself look good for a, like, a nice event work party. Um, not this year though. I'm going to be rocking it. I'm going to be going to the, a work party this year and I'm going to have a lot of fun because those parties are great. They treat, oh my gosh, they usually give you so much food, so many desserts, live music, dance. It's so much fun and I feel, I feel terrible that I missed it, but no, not this year. By the time December rolls around, I'm going to be more than ready. So, um, sometimes I use a little beach bronzer, but today I'm not going to because I used a little of the satin, satin, satin in my, uh, touch. So I'm just going to go with a little bit of, um, blush and this blush is amazing. You don't need much. So you can see it. You really don't need much. And it, just like tap it once and give it a little blow. And there you have it. Tap and blow. There you go. Um, I like that. I, I don't know. Just it feels like now my face feels awake. I feel like I'm almost there. So the next thing I would do really quick is, um, sorry, my table exploded is go with one of my palettes. Right now, um, oh, actually, I have, I have Addiction 6. That just came, but I'm not, I have to hold off on that because I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna go back to 4. I love 4. 4 has some blue in it, and I love the blue, the way it shows off my, um, my eyes. And I just get any kind of fuzzy brush, like a, a um, a blender brush for your eyebrows and I just go I go with the lighter color across the the whole um, eyelid and then in the corner I accent it with a little bit of a darker color and that for me has been working really well for just a quick get ready and go out um, and it's not been too much so I like it I definitely have been getting uh, like I feel like my eyes are popping in a nice way not too heavy so um, I, I, all of this just blends and builds so by the time I start really doing the glam it up night so you can even see it right now it's kind of it's already made a huge difference I should have done one and then not the other um, this this pigment it's you have I didn't I didn't tap and blow so um you can see I got a little bit all over the place, but uh, easy enough can kind of get rid of that. I, uh, I usually keep my kabuki brush out while I'm getting my eyes done, just because you're going to need it to clean it up. So that's it right there. It's pretty light. Um, and just for fun today, I was... Uh, practicing a few different things uh, the other day and discovered that there are uh, a way to layer your eyelashes a little bit more. So I'm using the Epic Black, which is standard, can't leave home without it, black. Um, that goes on first. My daughter was just in here teaching me a little bit about the brow palette. 
So I have, I used to have a tendency to just try everything full on and go out and go, hey girls, how does it look? And they'd look at me and go, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> a fun way to get them to actually teach me how to do it. Because they'll be damned if they see mom going out looking like that. No way. So then I also have brown. So one of the things people are doing now is minking. I don't know if that's a thing or a trend or whatever. But I wanted to give it a little shot. It's probably a little heavy for daytime. But you put the black on and then you go back over and coat it with the brown. And it gives it a second like kind of dimension and thick thickness to the eyebrow. I don't know if you can see it. I just keep working on one side. Of course, I got it all over. Ah! Did not mean to do that. Okay, I'm going to have to tap back in there with this. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of makeup on, so when I run out, I feel like I'm somewhat natural but done up. I don't know if you can see the difference in my eyes. This side has the brown, black and brown. This side only has black. My lighting's a little funny. I don't know if you can see it. I can notice the difference when I'm looking out of here. And, uh, if I could get closer to my window, it would be nicer to have that natural light so you could see it a little bit more. Anyway, there you have it. Minking. I just minked. I minked my eyes. I have to go tell my daughters. I just minked. <laughs> I minked my eyes, girls. What do you think of that? And they'll be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Mom, that's not a thing. <laughs> yes, it is, because I did it. Um, so the last thing I would do is put a little bit of lipstick on. I have um, one... Oh. It's not here right now. I think it, I think it went for a little ride off to the side. Um, I don't. I go lighter during the day. Um, so I'm just gonna go. And it's gonna look really light at first, but I blend it in a little bit more. Um, but this is sparkling. And uh, I like. I like the natural way it looks on my lips. I really enjoy that. And then I go over it with um, either a lip gloss, but today, if I can find it, I did. I think I'd rather go with a little uh, nude color in Opulence. Uh, well, it's the Opulence line, but even with my glasses, I cannot read that. So I will have to post it later. So there you have it. That's a quick, easy look for just running around, going to the grocery store, saying hi to the guys at the meat counter, because I see them all the time. <laughs> um, there you have it. I can't see what else that. So I contoured. I didn't do down here. That's okay. I just did a little contour here and on my forehead, because my forehead, I feel like, is kind of long. Um, my eyes, a little blush, the foundation, the liquid foundation. I'm, I missed it while I was gone. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, and then the base stuff. And tonight I'm going to do a mask. I can't wait. I have a new mask over here that I have not tried yet. Where is it? The oil control. So believe it or not, at 54, yes, I still have, like, I wake up and I feel like my face is kind of oily and stuff. My environment is a little warmer, I guess. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but... The oil control is going on tonight. Anyway, hope you have a great Sunday. Prepping for my week. Getting a little decluttering from that corner in the back, which I'm not going to show you. And vacuuming. Um, and setting up. And, you know, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a great week. Anyway, hope you all have a great day. Bye. Have a wonderful, awesome day.